Alright guys, thank you so much for jumping in for part two on the tutorial stream with this car. Uh, Calvin, we're just finishing up with what we started yesterday. And that is the Town of Clayton car. And so far, we did change up the badge, was the only thing so far that we've really gone completely out there. <laughs> and this is how we're looking right now, and we'll go ahead and turn on that uh, background. And that's how it really looks, and if you compare that to the actual car, I'd say we're getting pretty close. I think it's it's coming together pretty nicely. I'll just grab this real quick, we can throw over the top so you can compare it. Actually, there's that one right there. So I'm thinking overall it's coming down pretty nicely. We'll just have to see how it turns out when we test it in uh, Open 4 as well as in-game. And hopefully, the, the hope is that we'll be done with it tonight. It really depends on what I hear on the messages. So let's go ahead and get started. We've only got a couple people in there right now, but we will keep it going and hopefully more people will jump in. So let's turn off the black so we can get a good feel for what we have left to work on. We've got police. We've got police on both sides. We've got the city of Los Santos to replace the town of Clayton. We've got our custom badges here, which are a little bit different than the standard looking one, but for time, that's what we went with. Your cars don't look that good? Hey, it just takes practice, and that's exactly why I wanted to put these streams together, streams and videos, so that people can try them out, replay them, test things out, and really see if they can narrow down what they're what their ultimate goal is. So if you're enjoying it, then that's what we're working towards right there. Let's go ahead and move these badges. We kind of put the, threw them in there pretty quickly. I put them in with the wings lined up with the stripe there. However, if we look at the badge on this car, it's up quite a bit higher up by the mirror. So let's, we're just gonna move that badge up a little bit so that the line comes to about halfway down the car, half, halfway down the badge, excuse me. Looks good, and we'll have the eagle head just on the front fender instead of on the halfway across the door. We've been doing it for about three years. Well, I've been doing it for about two, a little over two years, two and a half years now, myself. And the tough part with this one has been that we're doing it live, so any mistakes that happen have to be corrected <laughs> in person with everyone watching. So it's been kind of an interesting challenge, but it's a good way to practice. And it gives the channel some content while I'm still practicing and working on cars myself. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a flag to go on that right behind the window there. And I'll frequently just pull up a pretty standard looking flag. In fact, I can actually go into my old designs here. Uh, mods, vehicles, skins, pretty much any of these. I think Deschutes has a flag. Another one of my designs here while we're scanning through. Oh, they've got a different kind of flag on there. We'll keep looking. Uh, maybe Carlton? It has been a while. No? Well, next best thing is just go back to Google. <laughs> just put uh, US flag decal, for example. And it doesn't take long to find a good match. Um, just kind of choosing between a couple of them here. That should do it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here because it's not a transparent one. Does it have the white in there? Yeah, it does. Okay. So what we can do so that we don't lose the white stripes is select the flag itself and then go to Edit, Invert Selection, Delete. And now we've gotten rid of we've gotten rid of the tr the white background, but we've kept the white flag the stripes in the flag. So we'll grab that. Go to our project here and we're gonna create a new layer never want to forget to do that but as I said in the last stream we do that all the time and that's just part of the process uh, do you want me to send you oh the flag oh we're good but thank you for doing that I appreciate it I, I usually have one ready to go and I just didn't have one this time so I just put flag left 
Paste that in there. Shrink it down to fit. And one thing I should have done early on was to double check our size. 38, four, that's weird. Glad I did. This should be 4096 for 4K. 4096, and I always make mine in 4K. Fortunately, you can resize it like that and it doesn't make it all blurry. But for consistency's sake, I always do 4K. It, it turns out a whole lot better. I'll close my window here because I'm not yelling at the neighbors again. Okay, so we got our flag in right there. That kind of blurred it out, so let's go ahead and repaste it. Now that we've increased our size, it we won't have to shrink it down quite as much. If we look at our sample, it's a pretty good sized flag, although that one's on backwards. That's weird. That one's correct. They just didn't think to flip it on the other one. Hey, Eric, welcome to the stream. Great to have you here. Awesome to have all of you jumping in as we go. I know that uh, Mr. No Logic will probably be jumping in if he has an opportunity to do so, because he uh, absolutely loves this stuff. Let's see. And I'm just going to leave him a little tag there in case he is interested and doesn't know about it. Uh, can I help you by doing a one-on-one, -on -one, because you just hate your skins. It's very possible. We could probably make that work. Um, I was talking to Mr. Nolajo about that, too, because it was it might actually end up being kind of a reward for Patreon. I uh, don't know for sure yet, so keep keep uh, keep tuned in on that, but in the meantime, we'll get it figured out. So, yeah, right about in here is about where I want it, and I'll use that line for consistency. Copy it. Create a new layer. Flag right. And we're just going to do the same thing on this side. But instead of trying to put it in there the wrong way like they did in real life, we're going to do layers, flip horizontal, and now you've got one that's lined up perfectly without any weird modification to it. Just a quick way to create that effect without the potential for not, something not being exactly right. And I'm going to keep it to the scale, that it, or to the ratio, height and width as it is there, versus what they have on here, because that's really short. And they don't have that in real life too much. Maybe a little. Uh, we'll split the difference. That seems fair. We'll just kind of shrink that down a little bit. And we're just going to do the same thing we just did in reverse and flip this. There we go. That way it's exactly the same as the other side. It doesn't shrink it down too awful much, but it does fit that pretty well. Uh, well, hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. It is Thursday evening. It's 7 p.m. here, so it's probably 10 o'clock for most people over there on the East Coast. And even later than that for the other side of the world, a.k.a. Australia. <laughs> Um, Mr. Low Logic, uh, can't do it. Need to study for a test. Hey, no, that's not a problem. Not a problem, Mr. Low Logic. You can always watch the replay, and just keep in mind that I was thinking about you when we started this one. <laughs> but we'll see the end of this project here soon. You have to study for driving school? Oh, boy. Well, good luck on that. Driving school can be a challenge, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, can I do a Wentzville, Missouri pack? Yeah, I mean, it's very possible. I don't generally start projects just for the sake of it. Usually there's a reason behind it, and you requesting it would be a reason. But I would have to think of, give that some thought. I'll take a look. Okay, so we got our sides. We got this flag. Really all that's missing for this particular one is supervisor. And frequently I don't put that on there because when you watch a stream, there's every car that responds is the same one. So if you put Supervisor on it, then everyone's a Supervisor. But for the sake of repeating what we've got here, excuse me, we'll go ahead and throw a Supervisor on there. We can always tell it not to show up when we don't want it to. And let's go ahead and get it back to our color of white, which is, I think 90? Pretty sure it's 90. Gotta remember from yesterday. Okay, Supervisor, but it's all caps. There's lots of projects to be done out there, and that's part of the problem is, unfortunately, with 
life being the way it is, schedules are kind of kind of tight. So it's always possible that we can get to those projects, but I can't commit to doing them right at the moment just because of uh, the baby along the way and work and other projects. Of course, it's summer, so we've got family plans coming up as well. So we'll see, though. Never completely out of the question. And okay, so they don't have these slanted, which is nice. So we don't have to worry about italicizing it and doing the oblique and such. So I'm going to line it up with that line right here at the beginning of the word. And deselect it. And select it with the box. Copy that. And I put that in the wrong spot, so we're going to cut that one out of there. And create a layer for supervisor, or we'll just call it super right. Paste that one. Super left. Paste that one. Drag it over for the left side. We're going to line that up to the end of the word in the same place that we lined it up for the beginning on the other side so that it's consistent. That really is the biggest thing, is making it look the same on both sides of the car. Because if you have something that looks off, it's going to stand out enough that people are going to notice it, unfortunately. Okay, so we've got supervisor on both sides. Looking at this car, that pretty well does it. Uh, it looks like they have italicized the 911 emergency on that car. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, it looks like... That's a tough one there, because that one almost looks straight up and down, but this one looks slanted. Their concept car was slanted, so we'll go ahead and oblique it. Uh, Old Town Oak Forest, Illinois. Very cool. Yeah, feel free to send the picture. We can take a look. I, I, again, I can't commit to it right at the moment, but it's possible. Get some good designs and something that really stands out. That's when uh, projects like this happen. Uh, so let's go ahead and do, 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 do. go to our 911 right, which is this one here. Effects, distort, oblique, and we want it to be a positive 0.20. There we go. I think. Nope, I was wrong. We had it right the first time. Distort, oblique, and we want it to be a negative. 0.20. That way it's all slanting away from the front of the car, which matches the actual design. And we'll do 911 left. Effects, distort, oblique, and this is going to be the positive. And then you just have to realign it to match up where you need it. Right about there. The 911 right. Looks pretty good. I think left needs to go back a little further. There we go. So we throw that black color back on there and see what you guys think. Is that looking pretty close? I mean, that, that dark gray is going to look white when we get it in the game. So I know it's a little bit of a different shade, but I think it'll pull together. The badge is, of course, different. That's by choice. And as much as I like to keep cars looking exactly as if they were in the real department, I would do that even more if I was going to make this a Town of Clayton car, but since it's the city of Los Santos, you get a little bit more flexibility with it in my mind. Let's go ahead and pull off this car, because we're no longer looking at the side of it. And we're going to bring in the back end of the car as an example. We have two designs that they did. They have Clayton Police, Keepers of Clayton, there in the center, or they have Police... Uh, Clayton police there in the center with the stripes. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the stripes. It's a little bit of a fuzzy picture of it, but we also have this example, which is also fuzzy. There we go. Helps if I could learn how to type, spell, whatever we're doing. So they're both fuzzy, but we get the concept. So we're going to get rid of our background color. And once we actually get that done, there we go. So the next part of the project is going to be the back. And it'll be pretty straightforward. We're using the same font, Serpentine. And we're just going to do Clayton. And it is 
centered at the moment, so let's do this and take another look. So like the other one, it's squished down. We can try... that's not how you spell it. Neither is that. There we go. No, we're gonna have to do it in two separate times. So first, we'll start off with this one. Select it with the box, and we're just gonna stretch it out to fit the same way they have it designed in real life. Hold on. Take that back. We're getting rid of that. We're not making this a Clayton car. We're doing Los Santos. You know, I, I don't know how many times I can tell myself that before I get it right. So Los Santos, centered. Thank you, Calvin. I will take a look at those afterwards. Shrink that down to fit. Let's see, maybe make it a little bit bigger. But then sh shrink it down. There we go. So it's wider, but n shorter. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe even bump that up just a touch. And the police is going to be a much larger size font. And see, by using centered, uh, as it is here, for alignment. I can put that right on that center line, put police in there, and it lines up a whole lot better than if you just try to eyeball it. It doesn't always work perfect, but it's it's something you can use. Stretch that out just a little bit, and also squish that down so that it has that same effect. Oh, but that's the, like, the full width of the car. So this is definitely a different one from my usual style. A little bit quieter out there in chat tonight than it was last night, but hopefully that's not a bad thing. Hopefully everyone's doing all right, is I guess what I'm thinking. How does that look? Police, police, looks pretty close. Yeah, I think that will okay. I might change up the size of Los Santos just a little bit so it doesn't kind of disappear. A little bit wider. Just slightly taller. And then when we throw in that black color again, it has a very similar feel to it. Okay. You have to to have your whole rules of the road book done by next Wednesday. Well, you got less than a week. It's really important to go through driver's ed of any kind because you get people that get out there without any training at all, and they're just scary people to be around. Okay, I'm going to name this layer text back. Stripes back for the next layer. And we're going to recreate that design which the easiest way, there's a, a lot of different ways you can do it. For me, I'll take a box, colored in box, and that would be white if I'm not mistaken. Yep. It's the correct color. And you see, I'm just going to create that, the effect of a stripe. Use the move tool. I'm sorry, select it first and then the move tool at an angle and I use the the shift key so that it does like a 90 degree angle 45 degree angle a couple other angles in there how much does that angle in a little bit more so probably that much and I might even stretch that just a little bit more so that it covers more ground and I'm gonna have that and you can go as far as you want with this because we're gonna end up trimming the edges anyways so we'll go even more so than we need to I'm going to copy it, create a new layer so that it doesn't overlap with the current one, and then just by holding down the, sh the control key and using the arrow, let's find out how many we're going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look, look at our example. I think six works. I only have three stripes. So then we'll copy. I'm going to go ahead and create another layer and paste. And this is just so that the selection box doesn't cover any part of the previous stripe. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
That way they're consistent all the way across the board. And now, to get it cut off at the right spot, I'm going to cut it off right here just below the... Whoops. Got ahead of myself. We created those lines, or those extra layers, now we'll merge them down. And they're one layer now. So now we've created this box, use the delete key, and cut off all of those at just the spot we want them. We're going to do the same thing on this side. We'll just double check our example. Looks like it stops a bit higher. I think between these two examples... Oh, it right underneath the license plate, so right about there. So there, there is your first set of lines. Stops right under the P. Stops right under the P. We're pretty close. We can always go to the move key and shift this over just a little bit if we want to. I think that looks pretty good though. Maybe just right back over one. Now we'll just select it. Copy it. Create a new layer of stripe right. Uh, stripe back. Right. You don't really have to because you can always merge this into one layer shortly after. But this way, you flip horizontal, drag that all the way back, and it's only running slow like that, but it, it's not actually hurting anything. And we'll just keep dragging it over. And by doing the control and arrow key, I'm preventing it from going up or down so it's completely even on the horizontal plane. There's no deviation from it. The only thing you have to work on from this point is to get it lined up perfectly as symmetrical as possible, which looks like I'm going to use that second stripe lined up on this line as my goal. Let's just change the height there briefly. I'm going to go back to the other stripes, move that over slightly. And that's pretty even. I'm thinking that looks pretty solid. Back at it again, Stevie, absolutely. We're going to try to finish this one up tonight. So there we go. What do you guys think? Does that look like it's close enough to being recognizable? You like it? What are your thoughts? I kind of like how that one looks too, but we're sticking with this design. You could always make two variations and keep both. It's really up to you as the designer to create it the way you want to. So that's the fun part of it. I'm going to go ahead and pull the color back off again. Uh, nothing else on our design. Ouch. Okay. I'm getting notifications, so we could be on a little bit of a time crunch yet again. Uh, we got police across the front. That'll be the next thing we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And we'll just do hood, and that's going to be right up here. I'm actually not sure any other interruptions I can get. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to create as even of a curve. This would be one of those things where Photoshop would come in handy. Like I said before, there's always that one or two times where that happens to be the case. But we're going to try this anyways. Police, increase the size. Quite a bit. Quite a. Well, we'll stick with that size for now. Select it. Move, and then by holding down the shift key, I'm going to rotate it around so it's an even, completely straight up and down, 90 degree angle. We don't have any weird shapes to it. Now, as we look back at the hood, that one kind of looks like it goes straight across. So maybe this won't look so far off after all. From this angle in particular, it looks like it follows the curve of that hood, and I can't get the. I'm not going to take the time to get Photoshop running just so I can bend some text. So, by following the curves of the car, the hood there, I've got it lined up at the beginning of this one. Go ahead and pull that forward just a little. Pull this one this way. And if we throw that color back on there. That's how it looks. If you have the circle mode in paint.net, then you can make the text look like a real one. Okay. I should probably look at that. It's okay, Squadbot. You're fine. 
I know what he's trying to type, and it's not a link. Okay. Yeah, I, sh I should look into that one. That's one I haven't used. I mean, this one... That one does... Where's the other example? This one actually looks like it's straight across. So I'm going to go with based off of this one. There's a video that has this car moving, and it looks really cool. Definitely check it out if you have time. Town of Clayton, new police car. You'll find the video for it on their Facebook. So I'm thinking this is pretty solid. It doesn't have a license plate. Which is the one thing we are leaving off. Oh, you saw another reference photo. Perfect. Okay. So they did it with this one, but it's not the typical style. Sometimes that happens. So we don't have anything on the trunk. We have everything on the side. We have the back done. So that's pretty solid. Let's go ahead and bring up... That's not the, big, not the uh, thing I was looking for there. Bring that back up. Let's bring up Open 4 real quick. I'm sure anyone who's done any kind of modding at all with Grand Theft Auto is familiar with Open 4. Waiting, 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 waiting. Come on. And while we're waiting, if you guys haven't already been there, feel free to check out Discord. I was going to bring up chat on screen so everyone could read it as we were going, but I couldn't get a uh, transparent background. Uh, you have and just still hate your skins. <laughs> well, it, it just takes practice and patience. And if anyone's going it, to... It, for me... Open IV instead of Open 4. Either way, same idea. Um, I mean, IV is Roman numerals for 4. So let's go into... Nope, that's the wrong one. Been a little... Oh, I know what's wrong. There we go. So glad I learned how to bring that bar back. It keeps disappearing on me. So if I go to my favorites, I'm going to throw it into LSPD pack. Because fortunately, this is the same police car. Charger sign one. So that's what we're going to save this as. File, save as. And I think I've already created a spot for... For this vehicle. Where is it? Uh, come on. Get a quick look here. button again. It should be in here. Oh, uh, cause, because I'm in vehicle models, that's why. Skins. Clayton City. 2018 Charger. So we're just going to create a new folder, and what I what I like to do is I'll put uh, one for PNG, and then I save the PDN outside of that. So we'll just save this. Charge underscore sign one. I'm going to verify that I have the right name for it. Yep. So we'll save that as it is. And then save as. Go into PNG and save this as a PNG. And that will merge us down to one layer. Flatten that down. Bring back up our chat here. I lost it for a little bit. Hey, Taylor, welcome to the stream. Great to have you here. Tried to make a border patrol and it <laughs> it can be a tricky one. Has someone modeled the 18 Charger? Yes, actually, uh, there is several releases for it, I think, now. But the template, the original vehicle's by Matt. And now it's been released by Gump, which is the one who did this particular one. And many others. Uh, several others have also released some for it. This is a skin that I created for it as well. Uh, John's Creek, out of uh, Georgia. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and find that file that we just created, which is under Vehicles, Skins, Clayton City, 2018 Charger, PNG. There's our file. Yep, that's the finished product there. Just drop this right into your Open 4 folder once you have it in edit mode. Here we go. Open up that file again. Drop in the Charger skin. Hey, Chris Talbert, welcome to the stream. Great to have you here. 
Well, Calvin, if you don't like how it turned out, you can always keep working with it, and the more you work on it, the better it turns out, and the happier you, you'll end up being with it. But we always end up being our own worst critics on things, for sure. And that's just kind of an unfortunate part of it, but it does, for a lot of people, it drives you to do better and better work. So here is the first test of the project we've been working on for the last two stream. Yes, it is. There we go. So that's how it looks as of right now. So if I were to release it, this is what everyone would see. Well, the skin, not the car necessarily itself, unless you used this exact configuration with the all blues that I put on it, then you'd end up with that. But otherwise, if I were to release it, this is how it would look. And that's actually not too bad. Looks pretty solid. I wish they'd get rid of the Charger logo there, but that's nothing that I can change. Hmm. Door handle. That's one thing we could black out. And that's just a matter of filling that area in with black. And that's probably what needs to happen there, too. Okay. So what, I'll, what I do is I'll look at that, take that information. I'll do undo so that I can get all my layers back. It's still saved in both formats, but now I can edit it again. Saves a lot of time. Let's go to our door right. <laughs> I got it making skins. Well, thank you, Calvin. I really appreciate that. Very much so. Uh, so let's go to the sides, and I'm going to do a little bit of a cheat here, because you understand the concept of filling in the door handle. I mean, it, you just take black to it and fill it in. You could do that with a paintbrush, you could do that with the circle tool, you could do that with all sorts of things. I'm going to use a little bit of a cheat, because I've already done this once before, and it'll save me a lot of time, and since I'm short on time, I'll take what I can get. So I'll bring up one of my other ones. This is uh, a very similar design as far as the white door. And this is um, Deschutes County, Oregon. A uh, couple, few hundred miles away from where I live. Um, and I'm just going to grab door handles. It's for the same car. So we should have no problem. Door handles right. So I'm going to bring this one up. And I'm actually going to put this right above white door. Uh, door, handle, right. And paste that in, and right there. Bam. It's already lined up with it because it's made for the same template. It's That's one huge advantage to saving some of your old projects and saving some of the elements of them. Because you can save yourself so much time by being able to reuse them. But at the same time, you don't want to do that so much that you no longer have a unique car in your new design. Pop that in there. Brighten up our doors. And there we go. Now our door handles are filled in. Let's open up Open 4 again. Take another look at our example. This doesn't have the update yet, but that's because I haven't saved it and imported it. But I'm just looking for any other inconsistencies that I want to change. And I'm sure there's things that I could tweak here and there, but overall, for the sake of the stream and everything... Hmm, I feel like police needs to go a little wider too, so we'll do that. Grab that, go back up to the top take off our color so that we can see what we're doing again. We're just going to widen this out. I've never written this much on a hood before. This seems really weird to me. Okay, so by doing that we've got it lined up to this line. And now this line. I think that should do it. It might feel a little weird to me, but it is that wide on their cars. So we'll go with it. Uh, with that in mind, let's go back to this. Put our color back on it. And I'm going to actually 
you could just save the PNG again, but I'm going to save the paint dot, the PDN file. Save right over the top of the other one. Hey guys, if you want to give me just a moment, I got a phone call coming in that I need to take.
All right, sorry guys, that took longer than I was hoping it would, but, you know, it was a good conversation. Never a bad thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this done here. We've done some updates. We saved it as a PDN, and now we're going to save it as a PNG. We're basically resaving it over the existing file. That way it's all in one place, and I keep the PNG and the PDN files in the same folder so that I can always access them later. For the same reason as those door hinges, or door handles, so much faster. And if I want to add another vehicle, like an SUV to this pack, maybe a Ford Police Interceptor Utility, for example, uh, I could just grab these and use some of those same elements. So let's go ahead and close that, go to Police 2's YTD file, go back to the, y or the PNG file that we have saved, drop that in, wait for it to finish. Uh, Ryan the Gamers, thank you so much for stopping in, really appreciate it. Great to have you here. I know we lost a few people along the way, and that's the unfortunate part of uh, distractions, but it's the way it works. Uh, so we've got that in there. We'll go ahead and save it. And from there, once that's done saving, it takes a little while, we'll go back to the YFT file. Thanks for sticking around there, Taylor. Really appreciate it. There it is with the door handles like that, and police across the hood. I'm liking how that looks. Uh, the badge is a little different, and actually I noticed that one of our examples here, um, this one in particular, the badge is actually lower. And it is there as well. So it looks like from the time that they were doing their examples to the time that they finished it, they lowered it. I'll probably change that one next time around. In the meantime, we'll have Rage plug-in hook start loading. And we're going to test this in-game now, see how it looks. It takes so long to load this game. <laughs> it actually sometimes can still amaze me how long it can take to load up LSPDFR. You're still here even though you should be studying. Well, if nothing else, this gives you some background noise to listen to while you're studying. In other words, a distraction. <laughs> uh, hopefully this is some con some content that people will enjoy and be able to reuse down the road. I know that my previous tutorial video... Let me see if I can bring that up real quick. Let's see at the end of this one. Um, got quite a bit of activity. In fact... I've met some several new people because of uploading it, and it's been a lot of fun. So, why is my phone still buzzing? Uh, with that, I figured, you know, maybe we should give this another shot and keep going with it and do another one. And if the videos and the streams work out to where people really enjoy them and learn a lot from them and want to see more, we can definitely continue it. Oh, here it was. Here it was. Here it is. It was when I did the Decatur in-depth tutorial creating police textures for LSPDFR. It's up to over 1,100 views since October, which is pretty cool. Here's the details on that one. Whoop, it just disappeared on me. Uh, looks like Rage crashed. Fun stuff. Try that again. It's probably because I'm trying to do things while it's going, but... <clears throat> Patience running thin. This was the in-depth tutorial, Decatur Police. We ended up creating the Sheriff's Vehicle out of it. And, you know, 1100, over 1,100 views since October. That's awesome. 31 likes, 11 comments, and it just keeps going. And I got some good tips and suggestions from doing that one. Learned some things on my, for myself that we're using in this one. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, you enjoy this and you think you're going to start making your own? Awesome! I love hearing that. Uh, I did mention in my Discord that paint.net could be downloaded. And let me bring up that link. Um... I actually took a picture of it 
so that it was really easy to find which one to go to. Maybe if I do an invite from here. It may just give you, put you into the uh, server, but if you haven't already been there, you want to check that out, go ahead and check it out. But if you go to the photos section and scroll up slightly, uh, let's see, how much is there? There's a couple, there's some conversation, some pictures, and then you'll see a post that I put in there that actually has the, the website, which link to click on because there's some ads on there that say start now to download. But go to the one that I have marked there, that'll put you into paint.net version 4.1.6. And that's the same thing I'm running right here. It's free and a lot of fun. I don't want you to do any of this stuff here. Come on, game. Why is Steam doing anything? Oh, it's because I clicked on Ring of Elysium. <laughs> Different game. Hey, I see Taylor there in Discord. Thank you. And yep, I got a link for you for US Border Patrol. Uh, Calvin. Really hoping this loads up before I hear the garage door open. <laughs> uh, if it doesn't, though, you did get to see in the 3D model, you could see where I was able to take that image, make some corrections, retest it into Open 4. I felt comfortable with it. I'm loading it up in the game now. And that's where I would do another test. Walk around it, look at all the details, shine light on it, see how it looks. And then try it out, play it a little bit, and see if I really like it. I do all of that on every single skin I make before I release them, because I don't want someone else to drive it and then find a mistake. Just not how it should be. <laughs> there we go. Well, we get to do this quickly, because there's the car in-game. But I do need to go, unfortunately. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you soon.